guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be unboxing some Amazon leggings. I don't think I've officially announced this on one of my videos yet. But, I will announce it now, that me and my boyfriend James, if you don't know who James is, he is my boy, the love of my life. We have officially started back up our couple's channel, which is at the moment called Jarris, which is James and Karis, so original. But, we might be changing that to literally just James and Karis, we're not sure yet, we're still having a little think about that. But, I will leave the link in the description, if you are interested in vlogs, in what we're doing with our new house. We're literally vlogging all the stuff that's going on with the new house, the construction, doing up the rooms, doing the DIY, doing our own little projects. Everything is over there. We've got the new puppy coming in three weeks. It's all gonna be on the couples channel this year. We're having so much fun and it'll be really lovely to see you guys over there. So I will leave the link um, in the description box and I'll also put the link at the end of the video, unless I can put it right here then I'll put it here. Now, these Amazon leggings are supposedly meant to be replicas slash dupes. Dupes? Dupes? Mm, another word that I'm probably pronouncing wrong. I'm gonna go with dupes. They are dupes of the Lululemon leggings, which cost around 88 pounds, which is around about $120 for one pair of the legit, the real deal, the Lululemon leggings which everyone loves ever since getting my first pair of lulus i have been obsessed and to be fair i've worn them a lot i actually have my lulu pair here because i thought we could do a comparison so they're probably pretty go got dog hairs all over them um but i've been wearing these a lot recently and as you can see they look teeny tiny but they are super stretchy and really flattering really comfortable nothing uber different or unique a plain pair of leggings that fit and feel amazing. Now, you can get around six pairs of these leggings for one of these. Yeah, six for the price of one. So that is bonkers. And I have actually heard some really good reviews on the Amazon leggings, the ones that are meant to be very similar to the Lululemon. I will leave the exact links that um, I use because it's going to be really easy for me to just grab the link from my, um, what's the word? Order, basket, receipt thing that they send you. Your confirmation email. I will just get a, grab the links from my confirmation email and chuck them in the description box. Okay, so the first company that I bought from, I got two pairs of the leggings from, is called Queenie Key. <laughs> Another name I can't pronounce. Queen E Queen? Queen E Queen. I'm gonna go with Queen E Queen. Um ooh, it says Queenie Key. It's two separate words on the label. It says Queenie Key. Okay, Queen E Queen. Queen E Key. Oh my god. I'm just gonna go with Queen E Key. Um I've ordered two pair of the two pairs of leggings from here. They're apparently really lovely, so I can't wait to see what they're like. Okay, so my initial thoughts on the leggings are that these feel a little bit softer and a little bit thinner. These are the ones with the ties at the bottom, so you do like a crisscross pattern. These are the only ones I've got like this. They were sold out in this color in all the other styles, so I just made sure that I got this color, but I had to get a different style, so I got the crisscross bottoms. Feel nice, they feel like good quality. They don't feel super cheap, they don't feel like uber tacky. I'm not even joking, it took me about 10 minutes to <laughs> realize how to tie the little tassel things at the bottom because in the photo it looks all like amazing and crisscross and i was literally there like i cannot make this work get the photo up on my phone and i was like this doesn't look like this <laughs> so i've given it my best shot personally they're just not a personal favorite of mine and that's not a type of legging that i would go for to be fair i am loving these leggings so for starters the waistband is amazing like i love how supportive it is. I love the V shape of it. I think that it's really, really flattering. Um, it just holds you nicely. It's not too tight. It's not too loose. It's just really, really nice waistband. Um, and in an extra small, it just fits right. So I would just say it's like 100% true to size for an extra small. 
Now, the have seams down the front, we feel like the leggings are very flattering on the thighs. They're not as uber stretchy as the Lulu ones, just because they are just a little bit tighter with like everyday movements, like they just feel a little bit tighter. And they're really flattering on the bum, but they don't have as much room to them. The Lulus just feel like really stretchy and really nice on the bum, but these, they do look flattering. They're a lot more flattering than most kind of gym leggings that I do try on. Um, off kind of online websites for ch like really cheap prices. I thought I would hate this kind of area of the legging, but especially from afar, like all together, they do add something to the legging and they are quite nice. Next pair we have from Queen Key is a kind of like full one, which I think is meant to be more similar to the Lulu. And this comes in midnight black. Um, I think this was pretty much the only colour left in that style. That's why I had to get a black one. Ooh, they feel... Um, they're definitely thicker. Oh my gosh, yes. I love these. So they don't have the um, V waist to them. So they're slightly less flattering on the waist. But they still feel amazing. Again, this is in the size extra small. So they do feel quite supportive and tight. But without being like digging in too much. So I do really like them on the waist. I, these are awesome. Like they are very good dupes of the um, Lululemon ones. They are really, really good pairs of leggings. Oh my gosh, I just realized they have oh, an adjustable waistband. So like you have this thing inside which you can pull and tie to bring the leggings in even more which just made my absolute life because this is the kind of invention that I've been waiting for anyone to produce where you can like size up on the legs and bum and then bring that waistband in with like a really discreet kind of drawstring thing and this is it. They have this. Oh my gosh. Literally pull it and adjust it to your waist. <gasps> That's insane. I'd say they are just like a plain pair of leggings, but they are very comfy. They feel good. They're nice and flexible. I like them on the bum. I think they're very, very kind of comfy on the bum. They've got lots of room, but they're also like quite flattering. Um, they just feel and look like unreal, especially compared to the price. Like I just, I can't believe that. 12 pounds, $16 for these, like, they're so good. They're really, really comfy. Well, they would be a nice pair of leggings, but I didn't think that they would kind of give you this much comfort and also shape you that much on the bum and the legs. So I'm really, really impressed by these leggings. Now, I'm wearing a dark kind of lacy, thick lacy thong. So I just, usually, um, if you haven't watched any of my kind of active wear videos, I don't wear underwear in the gym. I just go commando and, that's what works for me. I'm just fed up of kind of pant lines and all of that and just commando has worked for me for like over a year now and loads of people have joined me on the commando mission and have never looked back. So I would highly recommend going commando to the gym. It makes life so much easier. I thought we'd just do a quick squat proof test to check these bad boys out. Looks all good, maybe. I can't see. Let me know how we're doing. Okay. Oh, it was leg day yesterday and oh. And not feeling good. To be fair, I am 10 out of 10 impressed with these leggings. I am super impressed with the leggings and I will probably wear them to the gym later. I love them so much. But I would probably prefer them in a different colour just because I feel like the kind of lulu -y style ones, they look really good in like a kind of olive or a light and dark grey and like loads of different colours like that. And they do have loads of colours like that so I was so gutted they're out of stock. But in the future, hopefully they will restock and we'll be able to get some more colours. The next ones we have are from a company called La Passa. La Passa. La Passa. I'm going with La Passa. Just, just leave it. It's La Passa, okay? Um, so these again are leggings that looked very similar to the Lululemon ones. They both come in little packages like that, packaged separately, which is quite sweet. Um, I ordered one in I both ordered them both in extra small, one in a heather dark grey and one in a navy. So let's start with the extra small heather dark grey. Ooh, this is so cute. The La Passa Passa Pusa packaging is so sweet. I love that. It's so smart. Oh, I'm loving this. 
So a box inside a box is literally like pasta pasta. First touch, first feel, very soft. I'm feeling it, it's soft. <gasps> Thinner, more like the Lululemon leggings. Definitely more similar to the Lululemons. Nicely packaged, all nicely packaged. Let me compare. A little bit softer, Lululemon's a little bit softer, but similarly thin. Similarly as thin, a little bit more light cream, and these feel a little bit more cottony. Oh, okay, so the, the seams on them, I can spot it that straight in the camera then. The seams are a lot darker. I'm not usually a fan of kind of dark seams like this on a pair of like darker leggings. I wish they did the seam the same colour as the legging. I just think it looks a lot more smart. And I personally just prefer it when they do that. Let's try them on. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. So these are uber comfy to wear and the waistband feels amazing. Like, no rolling, no scrunching needed so they were pretty perfect length. Um, they feel nice, they feel really comfy. The waistband feels great, like it's quite kind of fitted but it doesn't dig in too much which is really nice. Um, it just feels supportive and like, I'm not hating the black seams too much, but I'm not like uber like, oh my gosh, these are my new favorite leggings kind of thing. I like the Heather Dark Grey color, which I wasn't sure if I would like them or not. And like the others, I am super surprised at how flattering they are on the bum. Um, they kind of, they're not uber uber stretchy like the Lulus, but they do have a really nice fit to them, a nice feel. They're not uncomfortable to wear and they do just kind of flatter the bum and the legs and the waist at the same time in my opinion, which is definitely something that I look for in a legging. Again, let's just quickly do the squat proof test. Also just something else I wanted to mention with like squat proofness. Um, something can look kind of sheer and a bit more like nude and light when it's stretched, when actually you don't see anything underneath it. So, well, it's up to you whether you do, whether you want to have that look of like sheerness, because I can understand that like, you just wouldn't want that anyway, even if it's not showing your underwear or whatever. But don't 100% straight away um, confuse that with like, showing what's underneath, because a lot of the time it doesn't, it just looks a bit more sheer. Next pair we have are the navy extra small. So exactly the same, but in navy. And I think, yes, these have the same color hem as kind of the color of the leggings. It should give us a good indication of a good comparison. I didn't know where I was going with that sentence. <laughs> they have the exact same feel to them as the Heather Grey ones, which I'm wearing now. They are thin, they are soft. Yes, I am absolutely loving these. The waistband again is just exactly the same as the last ones. Um, really comfy, really supportive, just really nice kind of waistband. I really, to be honest, just wish I had these in loads of different colours so we could see what they were like. I just can't get over how kind of tight fitting they are on the waist, but then also how kind of comfy and like nice fitting they are on the legs. Like it's just quite rare that I find that, so I am impressed with these with all of these leggings so far from that side of things. And they are kind of have a lot of room on the bum. They're not tight fitting. They don't squish it down. They have room for the bum to breathe. And I personally find that they are quite flattering on the bum. That is all the Lululemon dupe leggings that we have today. Now, they're not exact replicas of Lululemon leggings. They're not kind of copied in every way. They do have similarities, which from afar can make them look like Lululemon leggings. They didn't have, which I think was, I prefer in the Lululemon leggings, is this, um, on the back of them, the kind of seaming is more in a V shape. You can see that there. The seam kind of comes down and that almost gives you a perception that your bum like rises a bit and just kind of perks out a bit more. So. If the leggings had had that as well, I think that would have kind of like added an extra positive towards the kind of dupes. But overall, f especially for the price, like they were really good pairs of leggings. They're not quite as good as the Lulus, but if we are taking price into consideration, then like I would 
recommend the ones that we've tried on today. I wanted to add a little bit in the end to talk about the um, new Gymshark Nikki B collection that is releasing so soon. We don't have the release date yet, but apparently it is very soon. Yesterday I wore the khaki set to the gym and I just wanted to say it was amazing. Like it is honestly, from the heart, my new favorite outfit to wear to the gym. Like I'm tempted to wear it again tonight. I'm probably gonna wear one of these instead. Bites it up. Not as flattering on the bum as some kind of other leggings like seamless so that's like kind of like less for them but for me a, a lot of the kind of wearing it to the gym is about comfort and how I feel in them and I did just feel really good in them so I just wanted to say that at the end of this video if you are interested in the Nikki B collection it's coming so soon Gymshark the link is in my description if you want to have a look on the Gymshark website, the stuff is not on there yet and as always for these releases with the Gymshark our links do give us a small percentage of commission from your sales so for everyone that chooses to use my link, like honestly it does baffle me a bit and I am really truly grateful um, and I'm going to love you whether you use the link or not but if you do, thank you so much and I really appreciate the thought. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new and welcome to the channel and also don't forget to subscribe to my Jarris couples channel can't wait to get the freaking puppy and show you guys her because she is so freaking special I cry I cry when I think about it I just cry she's amazing and I can't wait to show you guys and just for us all to get to know her on the vlog so yes if you're interested in anything to do with life puppies dogs houses then make sure you go over and follow my couples channel if not I will see you guys in the next video I love you so much bye Mwah.